Hi everyone, welcome back to Keyed In. Today we have movie and TV trivia with Lions Television versus Student Film Union. With four categories, romance, comedy, fantasy, and the classics, who will end with the most points? Let's get started. Representing LTV, we have Chaz and Casey. We have Connor and Steven representing Student Film Union. How do you guys feel? Decently no. confident. I feel well prepared. <laughs> um, I have a very extensive knowledge on a few topics. Yeah, I feel pretty confident in, in our ability to win. So for each question, you guys will have 30 seconds to answer, and you guys can collaborate together before you give a final answer and, you know, like, buzz in. So the first category is romance. In Mamma Mia, which of these is not the name of one of Sophie's potential dads? The fact that I'm stupid. Okay. I you... haven't seen this movie. So I'm just taking a shot in darker. I have seen it. Okay, wait. Eight seconds on the clock. Oh my god. Okay. I'll, I'll just uh, say Fernando. Wait, yeah, what do you want to say? Okay, sure. I feel so bad. You <laughs> got it! Okay. <laughs> You got it. Fernando. Well, you got the point. Yes. <laughs> My dad was in the Even. original. No, oh. he was not. Original Broadway version. Well, tell your dad I'm a big fan, even though I've never <laughs> seen it. Next question for romance. Who plays Meredith Grey in Grey's Anatomy? I was not the right person for this. Yeah, me neither. Um, <laughs> okay. um, hmm. Ellen Pompeo. I, yeah? I'm not gonna that one. But the yeah, okay. yeah. You got it! <laughs> <laughs> I feel like it's the first one, but I'm not. As I said, like, I haven't seen either of these. I'll go with that. I'll go with that too. Yeah, can go. So the first one? Yeah. yeah. Um, so sorry. It was Ellen Pompeo. Wow. <laughs> wow. We all right, the next one is, what kind of jewel was featured in the Titanic? So I've seen most of Titanic in multiple sittings, and I'm between red ruby and black pearl. Blue. Blue diamond, I'm pretty sure. Mm -hmm. Blocking in? Yeah. You guys are on fire! <laughs> Everyone's like, ugh, red All ruby. All right. <laughs> it, you said red ruby? I'm so yeah, sorry. Was it, was, it was a blue diamond. All right, here's the next one. What was Alyssa's disguise in End of the Effing World, season one? Um, I don't know if it has a name, but like she had the blonde hair, like the wig. Is that what we're talking about? Yes! Good. You got it already! What she said. Yeah, I don't know. I don't have a concrete one with this one. Uh, you have anything? Oh, thick disguise, like well, like like a thick mustache or something. I don't know. Could be it. Two seconds. It would go thick that. Yeah, sure. Yeah, like a thick mustache. It was a wig. Ah, well. All right. What TV series showed the first interracial kiss on American network television? On oh, the on the film. We can go with that. Yeah. Okay. Locking in with all in the family. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, it was actually Star Trek. Oh, wow. <laughs> I know! Star Trek. What's in Star Trek? Yeah, I think it's probably Star Trek. I think it was Uhura and Kevin Kirk, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it's probably Star Trek. Oh, wow. You guys redeemed yourself really quick. Okay, the next category is comedy. This is another multiple choice, so. In Scott Pilgrim vs. The World, which evil ex gained psychic powers by becoming a vegan? Mm. Uh, I didn't pay attention enough. Okay, I'll say... Lucas um, Lee? Yeah, sure. Lucas <laughs> Lee. Okay, it was actually Todd Ingram. The one time we don't pick A or D, it's D, of course. It's Lucas Lee, isn't it? Is it, is it you think? This is, I, the Chris, this is the Chris I have Evans not character. Seen this isn't movie it? Yet, so. It's the Chris Evans character, I think. Isn't it? Uh, if, you, if you think so. He's kind of like the bad boy, I remember. So I think it's Lucas Lee. I'm so sorry, it was Todd Ingram. Todd. Okay, the next one is not multiple choice, and it will help if you know the who. So 
what was that 70s show originally going to be named but couldn't because it was the name of a the who song dang and i love that 70s show Ugh. this is a hard one and i i just don't know who songs or the who song um, Oh, no. Five seconds. Are we tapping out? That '80s show. Yeah. I don't know. That '90s show. I don't. I don't know. You're right. That '80s. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> it was the kids are all right. Oh, um, great gig in the sky. Won't get fooled again. The kids um, are all right. Maybe. You think? You think with that one? I don't know. It kind of sounds good. The kids are all right. Maybe I don't know. Great gig in the sky doesn't really fit with that '70s show. I don't think. <laughs> Um, but five seconds. I think the kids are all right. All right, the kids are all right. You guys, that's yes. it. Yeah. That was that was really good. Well, I know wow. there, there, there's a Who movie called The Kids Are Right, so I figured it was probably like that. Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay, so the next one is also not a multiple choice, but this one should be more recognizable because it's in the movie. In Risky Business, what song did Tom Cruise famously lip sync to in his underwear? <laughs> oh, I, I I'm picturing the scene, I never actually saw the movie. Um, you could give me the gist of the song as well. Old time rock and roll. Old time rock and roll. That's too easy. I, I, didn't, even, I didn't even start the timer. <laughs> Bob Seger, you guys man. got it. <laughs> the timer. I've never seen Risky Business. <laughs> You know? Oh, oh yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I'm so sorry. It's all time rock and roll by Bob Seeger. Is, is that the scene where he like he like flies on the floor? Yeah. Like, yes, it's been parodied like so many times. Yes. Yes. I knew that scene. I'm so hopefully the next one if you guys you this might be this one really might be it. The next question is, which character becomes a wanted fugitive during the final season of The Office? I feel like Steve is the obvious answer because it just sounds like a meme. Who oh, well, is like, a fugitive, but, but... I don't understand. I, ne I never, like, continued, but Michael's not in the last season. Yeah, I know Michael. I feel like it's the the office. I'm gonna say uh, Yeah, I see. You guys got it! So it was the obvious answer. Just I know, his okay. name is Creed. Okay. Isn't it Creed? I have Creed. not finished the office yet, so I don't know. I think Creed is because he's always the paranoid one. Creed, that, that would, sounds... That would that make sense. sense. Do you want to lock him with Creed? Sure. Yeah. You got it! Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Last question of the comedy genre. Every episode of Seinfeld contains an image or reference to which superhero? I'm going with, with Wonder Good Batman. Go, yeah, I I don't know, but I want to go Batman. I feel like it's either Batman or Superman, but I'm, I'm thinking on Batman now. It was Superman. Oh, we could have gone with Superman. Mm. Prince to Superman. what superhero? Damn. <laughs> wow, that was multiple choice too. I didn't even have yeah, to say any. My, you know, my, my parents love Seinfeld, so I knew that one. <laughs> my wow. Da my, my dad was on that. LTV, how are we feeling? Two, two categories in, two more left. Two categories in, two points. Three, you got three. You got three? Oh, cool. cool. Definitely less confident, but, but I mean, I, we could probably bring it back. I think I'm good, yeah, we're good. Yeah, we, we're doing pretty good. Yeah. yeah. All right. Are you guys ready for fantasy? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Bring it on. I like the attitude. <laughs> Which actor plays Sirius Black in the Harry Potter films? I'm going to go with Tommy Lee Jones. I don't know. I'm, like, very confident that it's Gary Oldman. Gary Oldman. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> I just I just did a Harry Potter marathon with my friends two weeks ago, oh, so I'm fresh on that. <laughs> And then, and then, like, you, if it's five you, seconds. You know. Okay, can I'm we? Gary Oldman? Yeah, and then you can pick the next one if you want. It's Gary Oldman! I knew, I knew it, I knew okay. it. You guys have four points. See, fantasy can be your comeback. All right, Game of Thrones. What are the words of House Targaryen? This is multiple choice. 
You can go with this one if you I, want. I have a weird feeling that it's War and Fire. Yeah. yeah. All right. I don't. I don't know. I don't. I haven't seen it. I was thinking Fire and Blood. But we'll go with your answer because you did mine last time. Yeah. And I don't know. I'm so sorry. It was Fire and Blood. I'm <laughs> sure if it was. I've never seen Game of Thrones. I feel it has some, something to do with fire because Targaryens um, and dragons. Yeah, I think it's either war and fire or fire and blood. That sounds... Yeah. I, th I think probably fire and blood because that's more like a royal, like, you know, a, you know referring to it like a dynasty. Okay, that sounds fun. I think probably fire and, fire and blood. Wow, you guys got that one. But the next question. In Doctor Who, what do the Daleks scream before they attack their enemies? I want to say eradicate. Wait, yep. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry for putting comment on that. I don't know, but I'll go with eradicate. It was exterminate. Okay. <laughs> exterminate. <laughs> wow, I was about to look twice and you already had it. Okay, this one's a fun question. What was the first science fiction series on television? Lost in Space. I feel like it's Lost in Space. I've heard that like old, really old, so like that's not the only thing it's going on. <laughs> okay, yeah, Lost in Space. It was Captain Video and his Video Rangers. Oh, I've never heard of that. Uh, yeah, the the last two, the last two I've never heard of. Mm -hmm. It's it's like you would never think it's Star Trek because it's too easy, but then yeah. the other ones are too hard and to that. pick the right one. Yeah. Hmm. It's definitely not Star Trek. <laughs> no, not at all. Um, hmm. Video is definitely out because video wasn't a thing until like the 80s. Um, Lost in Space, I think, is a bit after. I yeah, feel Buck like Buck Rogers, Buck, sounds... Buck Rogers sounds like a 40s or 50s kind yeah. of like space show. Yeah. Yeah, we'll go with Buck Rogers. Yeah. It was actually Captain Video and his video arrangement. Really? I know, I know. All right, then last question of the fantasy genre. Approximately how many languages can C-3PO speak in Star Wars? Oh, 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 <laughs> I, I, it's a multiple choice. <laughs> Wait, did, did you know? Like, for I, more? I don't know, I'm, I'm like 99% positive. But... Oh, I feel like I noticed that. I think it might be 3 million. Yeah, I think it might be. You know, it's a really high number. I'm gonna go with three million, but if you want to like count with that, I'm... five seconds. Go with it. I can picture him saying the three phrase. Million, I don't yeah. know the number. Three million. Yeah. yeah. Yes. <laughs> no, I knew it. I like. I I went into that so confidently. You know what? You guys ended the, the third category with five points. That is pretty good. That's a whole category worth. Five seconds. Are we locking yeah, in? Yeah, we'll go three million. Yeah. Didn't doubt yourself at for a second. <laughs> the last category is the classics. And here we go. Which television show has the most seasons? It's not Survivor, I don't think. Uh... Saturday Night Live's been out, out on of these, Out of these four, it's Saturday Night Live. Yeah, it'd be Saturday Night Live because it started in the 70s. 75, yeah. And Simpson started like 80 something. 89. So, yeah. SNL. I want to say SNL. Yeah, yeah, SNL sounds like it have a lot of people. Yeah, SNL. You guys got it! You guys got it with yes. SNL. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> All right, next question. What was the first feature-length animated movie ever released? Snow White. I'm like 99% sure. Unless she was the first princess. And not just like, I think it's Snow White, it's yeah. Cool. Yeah. 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 You're right! Hey. All right, seven points. Snow, Snow White. White. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, true. Yeah. Wow! All right. In what 1976 thriller does Robert De Niro famously say, "You talking to me?" When she said the the quote, I I like it. It was familiar to me. Yeah. I think Texas Bible. 
You're right. Yay! Okay. I knew it was familiar. Taxi driver. Taxi driver. <laughs> yes! <laughs> All right, two more questions. For which 1964 blockbuster did Julie Andrews win the Academy Award for Best Actress? Hmm. Um, I'm between, I can be completely wrong. I'm between Mary Poppins and The Sound of Music. Yeah, that's me too. Um, 10 more seconds. One to lock in with Sound of Music. I'll say The Sound of Music. Yeah. I'm so sorry, it's Mary it's Poppins. Mary Poppins, Ugh, okay. Of course, it's the other one. I know, it's, it's always the 50 50 that chance. Yeah, why it wouldn't it be? Fire Poppins. and Blood, you know, exactly. It's, yeah, it's always well, the 50 you know. 50. Mary Poppins. Sound of Music. Sound of Music. Oh, no, like Sound of Music. Oh, trust me, she won, she won Best Actress for, for oh, Mary Best Poppins. Actress? Oh, Best yeah. Actress. One Best Actress. Yeah, it's Mary Poppins, yeah. Wow. Didn't even get to start the timer. Didn't even get to start the multiple choice. You guys are on fire with 16. Can you get to 17 though? All right, the last question is, what Martin Scorsese movie holds the all-time record for F-bombs? The Goodfellas stumped me up. Like I was immediately gonna say Wolf of Wolf Street, but now I'm hesitant. Um, I don't know. Um, Goodfellas. Wolf... Is it Goodfellas? Hang on. Oh wait, it's... the Wolf of Wall Street might actually. Yeah, it's the Wolf of Wall Street. Do you want me to read the rest of the multiple choice so you can deliberate further? It's oh, definitely yes. Goodfellas and the Wolf of Wall Street, but Wolf of Wall Street might Let's... have broke the record. Fifteen seconds. I'm going to stick with Wolf of Wall Street. That's perfect. All right, I'll stay. I'll stick with you with that. Wolf of Wall Street. Yeah. yeah. Ending with, ending with a good one. Oh, it's Wolf of Wall Street, hands okay, down. Yeah. You got it! Yeah. <laughs> I knew it, it used, to, it used to be good fellas, and I guess that broke the record. So how are we feeling? We at nine points. Pretty, pretty good. Pretty good. I, I mean, not how well they do, but like. I mean, S of U is probably still going to clean us, but <laughs> you, know, you never know. They might get stumped on a lot. You guys locked in at 17 points. That's really, really good. Now we're gonna bring in Lines Television to reveal who has won. We have both teams back here. We have LTV and SFU. How are we feeling, LTV? Scared. <laughs> very, very scared. <laughs> I don't know, they might've been really good. I have no idea. SFU, how are you feeling? Yeah, pretty good. Pretty good. <laughs> Wow, of this confidence. <laughs> okay. It might be so, misplaced. <laughs> I'm gonna do a little drum roll. Can everyone do a little drum roll with me, please? It was SFU. <laughs> so LTV, you came in at nine points and SFU came in at 17 points. Dang. <laughs> Dang it. Look at his, you just I... like, oh. Wait, there were there <laughs> 20 questions, right? There were 20 questions. Oh. Not nine. We got nine out of You guys did your darndest, and I am proud of you. Uh, can we all give a round of applause for each other? Yeah. You all did great. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Keyed In. And if you'd like to get involved in Lions Television, email us at ltv at tcnj.edu. I'll see you guys later.